My name is Jana. I'm account manager at FieldB. Welcome to our webinar. Today we will tell you how can farmers with a small and medium sized farm increase efficiency with FieldB precision farming technologies and products. Thank you for joining us in this busy time. We hope that you made a good start of the seasons. Crop have been seeded, the weather is good, and there are beautiful harvest, harvest results ahead. Uh, because after all, harvest and productivity growth, increasing of yield is what all farmers, farmers would like to achieve. It is also important to mention that uh, precision farming technologies are very good for the environment as they help to increase the amount of fertilizers, pesticides, and make crops healthier. For those who just uh, got to know our company and joined our webinar, we are Field B. Field B has its headquarters in Holland. Thank you, Alexei. Um, and the R&D in Holland and Ukraine. Currently, uh, we have customers in more than 50 countries worldwide. Field B is our brand of affordable guidance solutions that were developed for smaller landowners. Uh, Field B solutions are based on smartphone and Internet of Things architecture, which makes the product affordable, modular, and updatable. Our CTO, Alexei, is also present today and will be happy to answer your questions at the end of this webinar. Thank you. Thank you. We also would like to use this opportunity and thank all farmers who reached out to us and helped our Ukrainian colleagues. We appreciate your help and support and nice messages that we got. Thank you very much, farmers. Uh, today we invited Jurik. Uh, Jurik is representative of our Dutch dealer, uh, Smart Agri Technologies. Uh, Smart Agri Technologies is a company that was founded in 2019 and is owned and operated by three former fellow students of Agritechnica and Management High School, Jeroen Walters, uh, Han Hillebrands, and Jorik Lambers. A smart Agri Technology uh, wants to incorporate precision farming as a standard for every farmer, whether it is with robotics, smart spraying, or GPS-driven technologies. Please welcome Jorik. Uh, who will tell us about his experience of working with field BGPS systems and his precision farming experience. Uh, yes, hi, uh, good evening, everybody. I hope everybody can uh, can hear me all right. I don't have a fancy headset, so uh, I uh, hope it's uh, going well. Um, uh, first, I will tell something about uh, the company that I, uh, I work with. And um, and then I will tell something about uh, our experiences our experiences with Field B, and then uh, we'll do the the rest of the presentation. So um, we from Smart Agri Technology want to offer every farmer uh, wheat and disease free hectares with uh, the use of uh, autonomous robots or smart implements. Uh, we want to help achieve farming on the uh, we want to help achieve uh, precision farming. Uh, as a standard for all farmers, so we want to incorporate the use of robotics, smart implements, and uh, GPS technology. With the use of this technology, we want to improve, improve the, the yield of the crops um, and, uh, and uh, the overall uh, usage of GPS uh, helps with this. And uh, we also want to uh, let farmers farm on the highest level possible by showing them the best uh, solutions uh, in, in the in all the machinery that is available in the smart uh, agri technology uh, sector. Um, and we also want to break free from the standard sales system. Uh, we believe, we strongly believe in uh, being uh, well, well represented online and uh, we want to uh, have all uh, the information available online so customers can come to us directly and uh, just find what they are looking for. And um, that's the way we, uh, we operate. Uh, we from Smart Agri Technology have been a dealer of Field B since uh, the late of the, since late 2020. I think it was October, and uh, we covered the whole of the Netherlands with our sales and services. Uh, we made our first sale in 2021, and, and we did a lot of service calls uh, to the new uh, customers, uh, getting acquainted with the Field B systems in the in the Netherlands. 
we translated all the PLB manuals uh, to Dutch because we want to offer Dutch service to the Dutch farmers. And we also started an online service center uh, where we tackle uh, the most common solutions for the troubleshooting uh, you get while working with PLB. So uh, we have a couple of videos about setting up the setting up the mechanical auto steer using the app, uh, restarting the app after uh, after a shortage. And uh, we are planning uh, to do some big demos in 2022. We are currently running a demo uh, with a journalist for a popular Dutch dairy farmer magazine. And of course, we want to keep expanding our online service center with more helpful explanations about uh, well, oncoming issues as they always occur. And of course, we want to keep building the brand into the Dutch market. Thank you, Jorik. <laughs> yeah, uh, now uh, our uh, webinar will be, uh, and uh, Jorik will tell, um, uh, answer our questions so that we prepared. And uh, I would, I think everybody knows, but it's still good to mention. Please keep your microphone muted. If you have questions, uh, you are welcome to uh, ask them. Please write them in a the chat, and we will answer them at the end of our webinar. So let's start with our first question. Um, Jorik, uh, how can precision agriculture improve efficiency? You are muted. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. This, this should be better. Uh, first of all, it op optimizes uh, the time management of a farmer and uh, the available resources. And you can also, um, you, you reduce the consumption of materials using, uh, used in the field. So, uh, for example, uh, chemicals or fertilizers, which are very expensive at the moment. Diesel also. So, you also uh, can uh, you can uh, you can reduce the consumption of those. And it's just uh, just flip the switch, turn on the system, and start working. Uh, the reduction of costs. The you can better control the usage of fertilizer uh, seeds. And you use less diesel while you're uh, while you're using the optimal tracks the the, G, uh, the field B GPS uh, offers you, and uh, you travel in a much more efficient way on the field. Uh, there's better harvestability because of the fact you know uh, what you put into the field, so you can better understand the nutrients in the in uh, in your type of soil uh, on your farm. And it's also better for the environment because you don't waste as much fertilizer. You put it on the place where it needs to be. You, uh, the herbicides and the amount of chemicals released into the environment is also very much very low because there's no washout to the uh, to the surface water due to improper or over application uh, of these materials. Thank you, Jorik. Um, my next question is: How can uh, the usage of RTK increase productivity? Uh, the RTK equipment is installed on the tractor, which uh, ensures a higher accuracy of positioning. You can reach a one centimeter accuracy uh, with the Fieldby RTK uh, GPS systems. So you have no more overlapping uh, tracks, no more overlapping lines, no areas with no uh, seeds applied or no fertilizer applied, no double uh, application of manure in your, uh, on your fields. And you can also use the, the straight lines for seeding and then again with the weeding. And uh, well, while, while using these straight lines, you also lose, use less diesel uh, on, on the field, which is also uh, a good way to, uh, to reduce the costs. And it's also um, uh, a good way to keep, uh, keep up the, um, the same efficiency uh, in the uh, in a vis low visibility uh, situations or working at night. And it's also great. Uh, this is an example from Holland, because in Holland we use uh, a headland of six meters or sometimes even less because of the soil prices. We need to get every square inch uh, planted and seeded. But, but um, when you have a six meter headland, you uh, can skip a few passes. You don't have to do a three point turn for every new pass. So you can just skip a few, uh, skip a few passes, then continue working, then later come back to finish, um, finish the whole field, and this results in a minimum of nine to twenty percent savings uh, in tractor hours, uh, labor, and diesel consumption, uh, with the no, uh, 
with no extra turning on the, on the headlamps. Yeah, that's a very good example indeed. Uh, and um, like my, my next question uh, regards uh, auto steering system. How can auto steer system boost efficiency? Do you know some good tips? Uh, well, that, like I mentioned before, you can work in low light uh, or, or uh, hard, uh, low light conditions, or when the visibility is low, you don't need to be stressed as much about uh, keeping a straight line. The, the auto steer does it for you, so you don't get get that stressed about uh, driving in a straight line. There's le less uh, setup time when you've worked with the system before. Just flip the switch, turn everything on, and uh, use the app to. Uh, to work with uh, with your materials, um, like I said before, there's no more uh, crop overlapping or uh, extra seeding done, so that's uh, a good way to boost uh, boost some efficiency. And the farmer can uh, you uh, can uh, handle multiple tasks at once because he doesn't need to focus on steering; just turning on the headland is uh, enough. The auto steer does the rest, so he can uh, maybe maybe make some phone calls or. Call his accountant to see how uh, how much uh, he can get for the crop, and uh, there's a, a significant reduction in the input losses in fertilizer, diesel, and seeds because there's no more uh, overlapping, uh, overlapping, and because the the field is uh, used to its maximum potential, and uh, the setup is also adaptable for all the tractors. You can interchange between tractors uh, with the switch kit, or uh, Fit it to more tractors and uh, use them uh, simultaneously. And this saves time and energy on every farm. Yeah, I guess this is important for everybody, for farmers, uh, for uh, tractor drivers. Uh, this is very good point. Thank you. And um, now I would like to point attention uh, to our to the application to app uh, like farming apps, field B app. Uh, how can farming app help in, to increase productivity and efficiency? Um, when using the field bee tractor navigation app, like it's uh, now being showed on the on the slides, uh, you can navigate, make notes, map your tracks, and record all of your work all simultaneously. There are multiple uh, AB line patterns you can use: AB straight, AB curve. Uh, there are also uh, multiple headland uh, options uh, available in the app. And uh, you can use all of these patterns during the night or during uh, low visibility uh, situations. You can also save all of your previous work, uh, all of your used materials mm -hmm. like fertilizer, manure, uh, chemicals you've applied to your crop. And you can also save your, uh, the, the tracks you've uh, driven on for a later use in the season. And uh, the app will always get free updates and will always be um, updated and improved with uh, the help of from input from, uh, from the users and the farmers. Yeah, very good point. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and maybe according to your experience, so we have been working uh, for more than one and a half year um taking looking from this perspective uh, uh what can you say about how field bee products help farmers to become more productive well um in holland we have uh, a very high uh, price for uh, for soil it's about uh, 120 000 euros per hectare is uh, not uncommon maybe uh, now it's even more so um we want to use every square centimeter of um, of the arable land we have so we can use it to the maximum potential and get as much yield from it as possible uh, another great way to be more productive is to you can always uh, see in the app how far along you are on your field uh, how many hectares you have left and you then you can calculate how much longer you have to be in the cab and you can always and you can also keep track of your used materials uh, such as fertilizers chemicals uh, and you're and you're also uh, uh, able to uh, keep soil compaction to a minimum uh, in Holland soil compaction is a, is a very big problem because every uh, pass you make on uh, on the field is uh, is less yield so well uh, when the app calculates the, the the number of passes on the implement width 
uh, you can um, there's less soil driven on so there's less soil compaction which in turn uh, translates to more yield from the field yeah, I think that maybe this is also a good point, not only from Holland, but uh, quite a lot of European country, they have uh, more or less uh, the same uh, goal to get the best yield from the small fields. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Jurek. Um, my next question is maybe a bit more practical and uh, for our potential clients or maybe clients who have uh, who want to upgrade uh, their kit. Um, what is the difference between hydraulic and mechanical auto steer? Uh, when to choose which uh, which is easier to install? Uh, could you tell us more a bit about this? Yes, of course. Um, the big difference is how the system achieves auto steer. Uh, the mechanical auto steer uh, uses a, a gear ring around the steering wheel of the tractor, uh, to which the mechanical drive unit uh, couples and uh, it gets the, the steering input directly onto the steering wheel and the hydraulic um, system works uh, via a, a, a valve block you need to add onto the hydraulic system you also need some more uh, hydraulic hoses uh, being made because uh, the hydraulic system uh, achieves hydraulics uh, achieves steering uh, by uh, directly uh, put, uh, giving the input to the to the steering cylinders of the front wheels or back wheels in with the, whatever tractor you have or whatever machine you have. Uh, so that's the big different difference uh, between uh, mechanical and hydra uh, hydraulic auto steer in the way uh, in which way they uh, achieve the um, in which way they achieve the auto steer. Um, the mechanical you uh, mechanical auto steer is also um, interchangeable between uh, tractors uh, because it the, the steering uh, unit can be removed from the steering wheel and then can be put onto another tractor. This is a little bit difficult with the hydraulic uh, system because there are a lot of fragile parts that can get dirty or clogged up with dirt when uh, trying to change them from the tractor and uh, uh, trying to. Uh, apply, when you're applying the, uh, the hydraulic kit uh, to a tractor, uh, we've had some experiences with it, with it and you need to uh, incorporate, I think, uh, about half a day to three quarters of a day uh, in order to, to ad adapt it to a tractor. And a mechanical uh, unit can be switched within hours uh, to another tractor. Um, there's also... Uh, the, the maintenance um, with the mechanical auto steer, you only need to um, to keep an eye on the gear, uh, the gear ring that is around the steering wheel. So no, uh, uh, none of the the teeth are worn down, so the the MDU can uh, still interact with the steering wheel. And with the hydraulic auto steer, you need to observe the the hydraulic system of the vehicle. Uh, you need to check the the rings on the on the steering uh, cylinders of the of the tractor if they're not leaking you need to check if the wheel angle sensor is still uh, correct uh, uh, measuring the, the the angle correctly you need to check the hoses if you um, if they are still uh, tight and not leaking any hydraulic or fluid so that's more those are the points you need to keep an eye on uh, with the mechanical and uh, hydraulic or, hydraulic or auto steer Thank you. Thank you, Yorick. Um, now, uh, of course, in a time when uh, precision farming technology and auto steering becomes more and more popular, we see that also competition uh, rise. Um, I would like to ask you, uh, what is, in your opinion, uh, what makes field be stand out from uh, competitors, from, from um, its competitors? Uh, first of all, uh, the price. This is, uh, field has a very good uh, price uh, to quality uh, ratio um, and uh, field B goes for half or even less than the prices of uh, other big or small competitors uh, are asking so that is a very good um, good way uh, of uh, staying ahead of the competition and uh, secondly the mechanical kit can be easily installed uh, by the farmer uh, himself there's a, a very um, 
very big manual uh, given to you uh, when you order the kit. And uh, I think the, when when everything is ready, I think it's just a couple of hours you're uh, you're able to go uh, into the field, get calibrated, and start working. Uh, this also goes for the hydraulic uh, auto steer, but I think you need to, you need to like the challenge in order to to install it yourself, or you need to be good good friends with uh, local mechanics so they can maybe help you out when you do not uh, do not finish yourself. Um, and um, uh, the operation via the tablet is also a very nice um, a very nice way uh, of operating the system. The extra, the, the extra screen uh, can also be used uh, outside of the tractor when you're not using uh, the auto steer. So you have, a, you have a, an additional tablet to use uh, when you're uh, sitting on the couch at night or watching TV. Uh, it's also uh, the fact that it's interchangeable between tractors. Uh, you need some switch kits uh, to, inter to change the mechanical auto steer between tractors, but it is not that but uh, that big of a deal to uh, have multiple vehicles equipped with uh, field B. You can change it in a couple of hours, and then when, once the system is calibrated, it, it, uh, you can just start working again. Um, the, the fact that it's also upgradable, uh, the upgradable nature of the setup, you can start, for example, with uh, manual guidance, so only uh, an L2 receiver on the on the roof of the tractor, and getting uh, and giving the the tractor your know, the the steering uh, movement with with your hands. But once you've decided, I want to have auto steer, hydraulical uh, or mechanical, this is no problem. You can just upgrade to whatever kit you like. Also uh, incorporate a base station if you want higher accuracy. Uh, so that is that's also a very nice way. Um, to uh, to stay to, uh, ahead of the comp competitors, um, the RTK signal uh, usage is free in most countries. In the Netherlands, uh, not. We have to pay uh, between five and seven hundred fifty euros uh, as a subscription per year. So uh, the base station is a very good option uh, in the in the Netherlands. Then you can. Create your own uh, RTK correction signal and uh, get the, the high accuracy you need uh, while working on the field. And the functionality of the app is also a great, uh, great way to uh, stay ha stay ahead of the competition. It is very easy to use the the app, and uh, a lot of uh, settings can be changed while working in the field, and they're they're. Uh, Activated almost instantly, so the the changes should be uh, visible uh, almost immediately. Thank you very much uh, for this uh, detailed and uh, positive review <laughs> feedback. Um, and now, uh, speaking about uh, your customers, uh, what are the top three things that uh, customers praise about precision farming? Uh, you are a lot more accurate while working. So, uh, well, like I said before, soil is expensive, so you need to uh, achieve the maximum uh, maximum amount of efficiency while working on the field. So, and with with GPS or precision farming, that is a great way uh, of starting with that. And also, um, not being drained of energy while working for long hours. It's not always fun being a farmer when you when some when uh, when the work has to be done it has to be done there's only a limited amount of time to uh, to for, uh, for example uh, seed the wheat uh, seed uh, the the wheat yeah I think the the grains uh, cereals I think and uh, so you're sorry not uh, drained from drained from energy as much because uh, the the steering is done for you. You have more time to focus on the quality of the work. You can even hop off the tractor to check the work uh, while you're while you're operating the tractor. You have more free time uh, when the work is done easier and quicker, so you can spend more time with your family. That's also always nice. And you can, uh, while the tractor is steering on its own, you can also uh, combine other work 
with working on a tractor so you can uh, do some uh, accounting or uh, call your uh, call your mother I don't know one thing that's more important than sitting in the cab of a tractor and uh, the time management is easier for that when the tractor is driving on its own and um, most farmers do not like to work on tractors for long periods of time because yeah you're away from your family it has to be done but something yeah so being able to combine the, the necessary work with the tractor with other more important tasks is a great way to save uh, to save some time during the day yeah i think it's also very uh, like modern technology uh, all the devices makes uh, make the work for new generation may uh, are making being the farmer uh, more and more popular uh, uh, no, maybe not popular but more and more attractive because uh, uh, your work uh, can be easier done you can have your own blog you can uh, make nice videos and also of course at the same time increase efficiency of your work uh, and next question is maybe a question uh, that uh, like from our side from sales side we uh, we hear uh, not often but we hear it from time to time does field size matter when choosing an auto steer solution what can you tell about it no so uh, field uh, size doesn't matter the for the auto steer solution you choose it's just a matter of personal uh, preferences the the navigation app calculates the lines for you so you just drive an a b line with the implement with given in so and then it calculates all the all the tracks for you and you just need to do the u-turn on the headland so it uh field size doesn't matter uh while choosing uh while choosing an auto steer option and with the with the many many patterns of uh, navigation you can use AB straight AB curved and uh, all of the headland options there's plenty of options for every field size so I don't see that as a problem uh, and from a far uh, a farm that is uh, around 15 hectares you can also you can already start to work more efficiently uh, and gaining time uh, with not having to do a three point turn. On the headland, all these, all this, all this time adds up to less time spent in the cab of the tractor. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I want also add a few uh, words um, uh, that I agree fully with Yurik and uh, Lars uh, also ask the same questions about in Norway we have a lot of uh, hills and small fields yeah uh, 0 0.3 hectares and it's normal so that means um, it's um, yeah the size of field um, um, for example 0 point, uh, 0.3 it's also applicable for after guidance uh, system automatic steering system and, um, and that's um, uh, it is important how uh, heavy your implement and also uh, um, about configuration of your tractor and uh, implement and uh, the size of headland yeah and uh, if you um, in this case even you can minimize your headland size by skipping lines uh, during navigation it is uh, really valuable and uh, also for routine operations uh, also for tilling cultivation uh, on other it's uh, more um, more easy because you you will not need to more concentrate with the system so anyway it's will will helpful and anyway um, on small fields you can do precision farming yeah so that's that mean you can create a straight lines you can do in row crop cultivation and other technology so you can apply uh, more organic methods on the field so it's uh, also valuable regarding hills i answer later okay let's proceed uh, with our next question um is uh, field b precision farming equipment interchangeable between tractors uh, yes yes we have already uh, sold some uh, some some switch kits uh, for the interchangeability uh, between tractors um in most cases uh you need uh some duplicates of a 
of the wire harness or an uh, anti-rotation kit. But um, in, most, uh, in most cases, it can be achieved very, relatively easily with mechanical auto steer. Like I said earlier, we do not recommend it for the hydraulic system because uh, the, all the hoses are uh, pressed specifically for the, the for a, a one model of tractor. So, um, and one could also not use the mechanical auto steer after the hydraulic auto steer. Well, the valve is not uh, while well, the valves are not connected to the hoses, so we do not recommend it for the hydraulic system. But with the mechanical auto steer, it can be achieved relatively easy and can be changed uh, between tractors within hours. Thank you. Thank you, Jurek. Um, and who are your primary customers or uh, for whom are field B products aimed at? Uh, what can you answer to this question? Um, we from Smart Agri Technology, we focus on all type of farms, so big, small, uh, arable farmers, dairy farmers. Uh, we focus on them all. But uh, for now, we see that uh, a lot of dairy farmers uh, and uh, the smaller contractors or specialty arable farmers uh, buy the kits from us. Um, I think this is because the bigger arable farmers uh, uh, already have uh, GPS built into the tractor. So that the aftermarket system is not uh, really a solution for them because it's already uh, integrated from, from the factory. But uh, we see that with dairy farmers, because the GPS technology used to be very, very expensive. But now we see with Philby, with the well, re reasonable, reasonable prices, that uh, the dairy farmers also uh, want to invest in more accuracy and working smarter uh, on, the far on their farms. So they are now uh, investing in uh, GPS technologies. Yeah, that's a very good point. And of course, it's always uh, nice uh, to to make the range wider um, and this is like maybe a very, very interesting uh, question and exciting question for us uh, uh, but we always want to improve uh, ourselves our technology and our products so in your opinion what could be improved about field b um at this uh, uh, more uh, point uh, in time uh we have a lot, a lot of our customers are a little bit older gentlemen and uh, the, the app uh, for them is really intricate and very, very widespread. So uh, I, uh, I used the, the example of uh, a, a phone for old people with only the buttons you need, just that, that would be a nice option for uh, some of our clients, just go straight and then move the, move the lines and just see the the accuracy you're driving with and they cannot tamper with any other uh, settings so they do not influence any other uh, any other aspects of the app but for now uh, i think uh, it's working for, working uh, working great some very basic version <laughs> yeah a very basic version with only three buttons and just <laughs> just the auto steer button and the, the accuracy you're driving with yeah, that's a good point. We will consider it as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's um, it's really a uh, really uh, important point uh, because also uh, we have uh, different um, clients in different segments, and uh, someone would like um, a simple uh, solution just for straight with three buttons, uh, which Yurik mentioned, and um, also another. Uh, it's the first step. So it's first time when you have a great experience with AB straight, yes, light mode. It's uh, that's really important. But the next uh, question about how to apply uh, lines for the next operation, for how to to do operation for in row crop cultivation, how to do some planning. Uh, uh for example control it traffic farming here how how to plan a tram lines for example and and other and these questions also uh we are thinking about the concept uh easy to use and that's mean um uh, you need to plan execute and analyze and uh, our product all time is uh, improving and we, we are thinking about the simple mode 
and also the mode when you can uh, plan create a plan of routes on the field uh, make a plan you can make a plan a headland uh, and optimize your mechanical operations on on the field then just on the field press start and that's it nothing to do uh, only drive a straight line or according planet routes uh, and then analyze your field work how you precise uh, did it uh, can you do it uh, other uh, operation how you can use a result of planted operation for for the next uh, for spraying uh, after scheduling some tram lines or for example um, in cases when you need to mar mark uh, tram lines and in this case in planter machine you need to switch off some sections yeah so that's a lot of additional values can be um, applicable but we want to split on several stages for farmers who want to do this precision. Um, yeah, and um, important, uh, um, you know, that's um, everyone. Um, we are now we are um, expecting some more feedbacks from the field um, to um, to to improve also our product because we want to help farmers all time on the field because. It is. It's really neat in the world. Uh, be more efficient and uh, do work um, more precise. Yeah, it's it's um, it's possible. Um, yeah, but thank you for about possible to improve. All time is possible, and thank you for feedback. Yeah, I think that also all uh, kind of feedback uh, and also some. Uh, uh, feels back about improvement is is a big value for us because only in this way we can improve ourselves, improve our products, and uh, as Alex had told, to to, uh, to uh, help the farmers. Thank you very much. Thank you, Yorick. Thank you, Alexey. And my last question. Let's get back to uh, RTK and. Um, uh, for the for the countries uh, where farmers uh, do not have free and three providers, uh, maybe it's a very very good question. How beneficial is is it uh, to invest in a base station? What are the advantages? Um, in Holland, we don't have a free RTK signal. Like I said before, we pay between five and seven hundred fifty euros uh, per tractor per year. So uh, the base station is uh, a once uh, you invest one time and then it gives you a long time uh, independence uh, from the RTK. Uh, you, you get the RTK si signal uh, from field directly. You don't have to have any other um, any other uh, companies providing it to you. Uh, you can share the connection uh, with your neighbors or your friends or neighboring farmers uh, within the range of 20 kilometers. And uh, more than 100 receivers can be connected to one base station without them interfering uh, with each other uh, or uh, costing you any more uh, uh, money for RTK uh, and trip signal. And um, you pay once for a base station, so no uh, annual subscription. Just pay it once, and then you can get the correction for free for as long as the base station lasts and um like i said in the in holland it is uh, around uh, 500 to 750 euros per year per tractor so it's uh, a good alternative uh, for those uh, high prices and um you, well um when you want to work on high level of accuracy you need an uh, an entrip uh, subscription Otherwise, you cannot achieve the two centimeter or one centimeter accuracy. You want to be working with uh, with while using the GPS system. Um, so that's uh, a very uh, important one uh, to be using uh, in the precision farming uh, culture we are living in now. Yeah, and having flexibility. Thank you, York. Thank you very much uh, for your time and uh, that you joined us today. Um, we have come to the end of this webinar. Uh, let's proceed with the answer to your questions. Uh, feel free to ask any questions uh, uh, if you would like to get uh, you you would like to get answers uh, for. 
Um, Alexei, uh, uh, we will appreciate if you help us. Mm -hmm. uh... Thank you. Thank you, Jana, Yurik. So, and um, so let's, I, I just re, uh, going to read a question in the chat um, and for, from Lars um, yeah, from Norway um, and um, he asked about the small field size, you already answered it, when it's, uh, this is uh, system applicable and it de depends, uh, I want to repeat, depends of tractor size, your headland uh, on your field and um, of course it depends on the crop. Yeah, yeah, and uh, if this crop uh, so efficient, um, that's you can uh, return your money in the shortest period. Also, our system applicable for, uh, uh, for example, for potato farming. Um, uh, so some um, uh, so orchards and others. It's applicable about the uh, tilt and hills. Uh, this is. Uh, of course, um, this, um, in Holland, for example, there are no questions about uh, the tilt, uh, terrain compensation. Yeah, it's it's really true. Uh, and about Norway and um, and some hills. And the question is also about the, how is big your hills yeah, and how is changed. And for example, we have uh, three dimensions when a uh, tractor uh, change uh, this uh, roll, pitch, uh, and yaw. So, and uh, if you have some tilt uh, terrain in a one dimension, yeah, the system can easily compensate. And it is important that system has a tilt compensation, automatic uh, steering system has a tilt com terrain compensation. And um, also it depends how heavy is your uh, tractor and especially implement. Because if you drive on the hills, uh, your implement will uh, all time made a drift of your tractor, uh, so that in this case needs some system uh, who will track it. It's uh, on current stage uh, we um, um, we provide <coughs> some uh, possibility to trial uh, of the system on your field, um, and uh, after that uh, you will decide how it's fitable for you. Uh, so and. Um, uh, important uh, important also the operation uh, the speed operation and in case when your hill has a only pitch hill yeah just wave on a long so the in this case it's easy uh, to manage and especially it's useful when you cannot see end of the field you can put a EB lines uh, manually for example and drive um, on the field is, is straight. Um, it's also possible, for example, in Czech Republic, we, we have uh, some, um, a lot of hills in this region and farmers, uh, they are working with, with the system. So, how, is, uh, how heavy of your implement and tractor uh, depends on terrain. And um, if uh, you have a, um, all three dimension changes uh, on your field, so hills uh, in left side, uh, yaw also you can drift. In this case, um, it will be a challenge for the system. So that's uh, need to, uh, for example, uh, install the angle sensor um, to detect uh, of position of steering wheel. And um, yeah, it's um, also some cases when it's out of scope. It's possible also, but anyway, you can uh, you can try and uh, yeah, as I know, that's we we have some uh, money back guarantee. Yeah, uh, some terms when you can use the system and then decide how it's uh, fitable for you. <clears throat> uh, uh, but it is necessary in any way when uh, on a terrain you have uh, some drifts and so on. You can um, you can. Uh, dec decrease um, and improve your routine work yeah so it's more uh, you, you can use use it like assistance in this case so you need to uh, make a balance in this case i i hope i answer on your question um and um, uh, Leon, yes about the curve Mm, and this is really good question, especially for automatic steering system, because manually 
drive by curve it's really change, uh, challengeable and of course the first uh, way it's better to split the field on straight line and uh, uh, try to apply the technology or uh, driving with straight but if you have a long field with some curvature uh, in a <coughs> um, in an angle when you turn radius of turning less than 10 degree uh, the system will drive uh, perfectly with uh, also with minimum overlaps and um, uh, depends on implement width and also how heavy uh, of your implement because uh, if you implement is heavy um, uh, kilograms on front field not not enough so that's your tractor can be a little bit drift so need to um, understood that implement will require it some adjustments uh, and if your tractor system is balanced, you can achieve um, also um, some four centimeter accuracy, uh, um, even with curve. And um, also it is uh, works um, in a backward. Yeah, and in some cases when following you, uh, by curve, you need to drive back, you can activate uh, backward movements and drive back. So that's, that's uh, uh, really, good advantages of of the um, uh, automatic steering system on on curve uh, but need to think about the next operation yeah it's important when you drive and uh, plant uh, uh, by curves other operation will be fitable to, uh, in this case or not so need need to um, of course uh, understand what uh, what will be the next uh, fields so the answer yes accurate uh, if system balanced um, yeah and Raymond a lot of positives uh, all messages about positives um, yeah and uh, Vadan yeah is uh, uh, Vadahan uh, Vadah uh, from Sudan thank you for this um, request I think uh, Jana it's interesting request we will contact with you yeah, um, yeah um yeah and discuss some special offers and uh, possibility to to cooperate I'll just request the contact information and we'll uh, contact you today thank you very much for mm -hmm. the yeah i repeat again uh, uh, from raymond uh, some uh, yeah uh, yeah so that's uh for sure all system Every system required some support. We, had, uh, we and Yurik uh, explained it via internet, uh, online. Uh, we can support and help uh, help remotely. And it's important to to understand that uh, somebody can help you. Yeah, on the field because all equipment required maintenance, implements, everything on the field happens a lot of challenges. But uh, yeah, with with remote support, it's possible um and we are, we are doing it and thank you for that's also you understand uh, understood it and yanis um, uh, uh, this is really good question regarding simple system and next level yeah because this is Yurik, look uh, this is nice i i like uh, these questions we need system to able to start with multi-headland with a half of implement like c drill three meter uh, meter drill and then 15 meter tram line so that's that's exactly about the planning um, about uh, also some advances uh, ad advanced uh, functionality um, uh, <clears throat> so uh, Yanis, um, especially for this question with multiple headlands um, now uh, our uh, functionality with multiple headlands uh, released in previous year we are continuously improving and i i just want to ad um, advise to try to use a few different uh, multiple headlands with different implement widths uh, and calculate uh, it in one time when it's uh, feasible to half of um, of implement and then uh, create uh, another uh, headland with another um, another implement width. In this case, you can switch between um, between different patterns, between different lines, uh, and use um, uh, and use um, uh, recently used patterns. And uh, you can com combine. On current stage, uh, we don't have um, uh, adjusting. 
uh, adjust of multiple headlamps. Uh, but uh, let's also via support discuss this question uh, more detail and uh, maybe in community also uh, in Facebook. We, I, I watched some similar question. Um, we can improve functionality. Depends on, of course, of priority, but uh, need to uh, more detailed to discuss this question. So let's keep an open and I advise only to try to use uh, two different calculation of uh, of multiple headlamps and use recently used patterns in your case. Um, yeah, um, so and uh, I also want to add uh, some switchable, bet uh, switchable, uh, switchable between tractors. Um, that's all time we, uh, we say that's uh, the mechanical parts ECU controller with switch kit um, can be switchable but also um, application yeah it's Android based application and it's really useful when in your several tractors for example uh, you have several co-workers just in case and um, if somebody in a shift and want to continue field work on on second tractor he can switch of course and also he can activate just uh, enter to the account and all data about AB lines, previous field work, coverage area also will be uh, synchronized with second device and he can easily continue with second device. So that means if you have a few tractors um, and um, every tractor equipped uh, whole system even, you can continue easily. And after switching also uh, some another tablets uh, and devices can be used for continuous work because all data synchronized with, with cl uh, via cloud. Aha, uh, Yanis. Okay, so nice to meet uh, Yanis. And um, let's continue this um, this topic uh, in the community. I, uh, we try to find together this solution. And maybe in the future we will improve uh, functionality. Um, so that's uh, um, okay. Okay, good. So that's sometimes, of course, standard. Uh, some something we we must have, uh, but step by step we can do it T uh, together according to your request and needs. Yeah. Um, so I think this that's it. Okay, Levin, I understood. Mark the raw. Yeah, that's our friends and farmers really good uh, to to get this request and question from farmers. Well, uh, nice to get positive feedback. So it's really good uh, to go home with this uh, wonderful positive mood. So on, uh, I think that this is also a very good, uh, <laughs> very good moment uh, to finish our meeting. Uh, we would like uh, to know what you thought of this webinar so that we can improve our webinars in the future. You will also uh, receive an email uh, containing a link to this broadcast uh, so that you can watch it again uh, at a later time or share it with somebody who might be interested or maybe if you were not on time for our webinar, please feel free to, to check it and uh, we will be happy to answer the questions when they arise. So thank you for your attention. Enjoy your evening and uh, hope uh, we see you soon uh, in, in support or in uh, sales. Uh, sales team, we're always ready to help. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.